Hi guys, this is Enol, and we are back playing House of Iron 4 as Thranos. Huh. So that was a mess last episode. Um, for more, or for several reasons really, because uh, I was uh, uh, messed up with my audio settings and uh, the game was, uh, the voice, uh, the game sound wasn't being recorded since it was going uh, into the wrong uh, output device than the one I was I usually record from. So now uh, I also have noticed that there is a lot of uh, my infantry divisions uh, stuck there. We are going to use them. Uh, you can finish this one. Um, well, same goes with this. Here you go, and well, most of those divisions need to mm, probably go uh, here to capture some parts of Mongolia and Xinjiang, I'd say. So let's here we go. Let's redeploy, and so we'll deal with you later. And um, since they are almost done and uh, Bulgaria has like what, 10 divisions. Uh, yeah, don't really like it. Uh, those troops should be more than enough and so we'll take ours to the proper front because uh, well, seems like we won't be able to finish this by the end of the year. Mostly because AI yeah, takes fucking forever to advance uh, through empty provinces. But well, what can you do? I think I'm um, Honestly, I think that having uh, kind of breakthroughs uh, with tanks speeds this whole process up. So I will uh, set like a, a few tanks here and make them ru uh, ride into the sunset. Uh, so that should help. Of course, we need to uh, clean, uh, well, finish this one off first. So. Um, Still, let's take all of those divisions and assign them there. Uh, here you go. Now we will um, reassign those here. I'm going to take a handful of... Uh, well, I guess I should probably finish that one off first. There's, what, 13 divisions. Now, uh, some tanks, uh, as I mentioned, I will just park them here for the time being. And, well, probably I do it like this. And hopefully, hopefully we should be able to defeat Soviet Union uh, by the time, um, well, uh, by spring, or possibly faster. Uh, so, yeah. And our allies should uh, clean up Bulgaria, no problem. Yeah, it's, I actually don't like when it's on 5. So, let's make it a bit faster. Uh, oh, yeah, that instead of attacking, they are just acting silly. Uh, Okay, just beeline for Sevastopol, will you? Where are the other... Oh, actually, I must have... Oh, never mind, they get, they get stuck to this. Uh, sure, let's finish that one off. Uh, now, let's reassign you here. And just, just keep going. There you go. How are... We are still in November. Uh, you can... Well, actually... We are going to use uh, you for this. There we go. What a waste. Huh. Uh, how's Bulgaria going? Come on, guys. Just bloody attack. This one is still holding. Yeah, not for long. They're actually doing some damage to us. Uh, 
it's yeah, those are mountains, and since we are attacking from so many angles, the uh, yeah, but that won't last long. Wait, are those mostly? Oh, look at that. Those are mostly Japanese troops for some reason. Well, this one is clearly made in uh, Hungary. I'm not sure why they show up as Japanese, to be honest. And they should, uh, as I mentioned, uh, maybe the fact that they weren't in, uh, that's probably because they weren't in uh, Hungary proper when they, uh, when a capitulation happened, and that's why they survived. But I'm pretty sure they shouldn't, uh, you know, uh, yeah, that, I'm pretty sure they should have disappeared. The city. Mm. Now, how far are we? Okay, so we could modify the government, but I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, oh, we can modify a government that having... Ah, right, probably conscription laws? Nope. Pretty sure we need 150, unless there's some... Really? Okay. Oh, right. Interesting. I never knew it's it's cheaper. This is the guy we got from uh, this National Focus. Huh. Interesting. We'll leave it be for now. I just want to finish that without spending a single uh, point of political power. Actually, since we are already there and we are in a safe zone, more or less, I can just go for a uh, naval focus. And by safe zone, I mean we have enough manpower to, to, to finish this war, really. And probably even to clean up uh, China. Sure. Uh, aggression pact it is. Mm. I don't really... I don't think I want to actually start using fighters just yet. Uh, mostly because, well, it's kind of... with those huge zones and the fact that there are pretty much no uh, Soviet divisions left, it's... it's as redundant as they can. How many Soviet divisions are left though? On this one or this one? Apparently there are like 20 somewhere. And... Well... Have we captured Sevastopol yet? Not yet, so... That may prove... Uh, well, we'll need to capture a few more places, but... Uh, yeah, we're getting there. Also, another problem is the fact that, uh, for example, they have been uh, strategically redeployed from there, but by the time they got here, uh, the front line was already mm, past uh, the point where they were heading. Mm. Let's see. And some, since our front line got extended for no bloody reason, where is it? Uh, Till the end here. I didn't want that. Um, fuck, I accidentally. Oh, then the. Oh, Jesus. Go. Yeah. Like this at most, and you guys. Probably shouldn't have done that really, but okay, so we need to stop all of that and you can continue attacking or moving really. I think over territory. Uh, how are those motorized troops? Well, we have some, so let's just throw them into Mongolia. Uh, they should rest for a bit and as, as in regain some. Hmm. Uh, and just, just a fleet. Uh, let's grab this. 
Well, I should finish the rest. Uh, actually, we should probably finish off this uh, Portuguese division before it becomes a problem. Mm. There we go. Uh, naval battle. Okay. That's weird. I really got murdered like that. Uh, so they are like a handful of destroyers. Alright, because we had mostly subs here for some reason. No, not really. Uh, well, we even have Caius. Okay, so that was a, like a proper battle. Sort of. Let's see. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, let's keep fighting, I guess. Uh, pretty dark, yes, huh? I know, just build some light cruisers. Um, right, those research slots. Um, this one will go for uh, assembly production line, and this one will go for concentrated industry in well, a few days. Um, mm -hmm. What's up with, like, can you? Jeez, I thought that we'll deal with that a bit faster. Right, where are those? We probably have tanks somewhere. Let's see where are I guess going. Going here. And you are apparently suffering from bad supply here. That probably also means that, okay, uh, you can just ride like that and you should probably actually redeploy here because you are simply using too much supply. So, yeah, well, let's deal with that and you, I guess, just go there. We should, uh, Jesus, really? Not much supply, huh? Okay. Let's do it this way. Another battle. Uh, keep getting our asses kicked. Oh, they're down to... Uh, subs? Okay. Mm. We can go for concentrated industry. Let's see, what are actually any other losses here? Huh? There are some. Well, frankly, the, the losses are mm, close to half of uh, the losses we have against the Soviets. That's mostly because we... Mm, we just kitchen sink it instead of uh, try trying to do something uh, coherent. Mm, yeah, we, we have some uh, riders who are mostly Czechs units, that's why they aren't uh, of full strength. Uh, I definitely want you guys to, to you know start doing shit. Infantry offensive, and we will continue down the road uh, for some recovery of tanks and um, those things. Uh, that will be followed by... Uh, Updates to our supply consumption, and we should probably help help those units of ours. Mm. Yeah, you guys should just rush there. I'd say because we want all of those. Um, nah, I don't want. Well, I guess I should have. I guess I could use them to attack, but uh, we are in 41. It's, it's Outright shameful that we haven't finished this war by then. Alright then. Mm.
Uh, you should probably ru uh, rush there. The rest of you just just rush, and uh, I believe Soviets should be well another five percent, and we have all the victory points they've uh, I guess Vladivostok and perhaps a few here maybe not really uh, our angles we have um, anything well there is uh, one here one here of course here Kutsk uh, yeah but that's about it uh, Omsk uh, is more free so yeah but my well if I really wanted to make it much faster uh, I'm in the game terms not the real time faster I could uh, simply add uh, give orders to all those units to to to, to keep marching but yeah and that's excessive. Mm. What to do with this mess though? Uh, well, I guess I will leave it as this and continue going. Um, Tantua has capitulated, very nice. Uh, should probably uh, start grabbing that terrain here. Have they just regained that? Uh, which one is that? Uh, this is the capital. Mm. Oh, barely scratched Mongolia. I think we might as well continue there. <laughs> Those bloody <laughs> Portuguese troops are a pain in the ass. Okay, well, everything more or less going in according to plan. Bulgaria capitulated, very nice. Guess some Hungarian troops. So perhaps it's because Hungary is uh, considered a leader of Axis, even though at the same time it's not a major faction. In Siam joined the war. But I think Brits will deal with that. They seem to be pushing. As you can see. Uh, France, well, we can't really see if they have anything there or not. Um, Alright, let's ma just make sure we, we won't lose any, any units around here. This is a desert, uh, sure. Go another what three percent and they are gone. Have we captured Omsk already? Uh, here it is. Yeah, so that should add up just a little bit. And since we basically mm, got bits and pieces of our parts, all the parts of uh, the commenter, as soon as they all, uh, all of them will capitulate. If we haven't uh, actually occupied anything uh, out of those, they uh, would uh, just uh, have peace with us. Uh, and we wouldn't control them. Right. Uh, that is going to be one uh, big peace conference, though. See how this goes. It, it will be a Crazy uh, map gore, really. But definitely wants to, 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 to Romania by, back on the map. Beyond that, we'll see. Mm -hmm. 
And I actually want the. Uh, so yeah, it's here actually since it was Poland and Yugoslavia to lesser extent who pushed in Bulgaria and Poland also uh, helped us uh, recover most of Romania. They got quite a lot of a uh, uh, score. Okay, maybe focus. Uh, classic focus, I guess. These are they even trying? Well, they are, I guess. Um, I could have sworn I actually ordered. Uh, yeah, well, we already reached. Uh, Parts of Russia where those uh, provinces are huge, making it very difficult to to, to actually uh, even move yet yet alone uh, attack, especially the northern part of course due to uh, um, map disruption. Mm. Almost the. Not this war again. Really? We are down by... Have we lost anything? What, what gives? Sure we haven't. Oh, how the hell it went... Ah, never mind. Uh, I think I just looked on the war participation, of course, and that's it was always 4% there. <sighs> uh, let's see, so... Xinjiang, let's calculate it. Very nice, now we need to clean those assholes up. Uh, let's do it like this and... Grab that and now we should uh, make sure that Mongolia falls and we can uh, continue towards Japan. Oh, well China, really. Of course, the, the another bonus uh, will be that as soon as we uh, finally make Soviets to surrender, all of that will disappear, helping us a little bit. All oh, right. Mm. This unit is trapped. I haven't noticed. <laughs> um, yeah. Shit. Improved manufacture. Improved infantry equipment too. Eh, we can get mechanized now. Oh, yeah, the Japanese troops already arrived. Um, should probably get some parts of our uh, green core and start deploying it on the this border. Come on, here we go. Okay. Are you guys gonna? Yes, this is absurdly lopsided as well, of course. That all of those units are north. Uh, uh, though it's actually mostly my fault, uh, especially since. Yeah, so I took the wrong one. 
uh, wrong line and I actually extended the, those uh, tanks uh, front line instead of infantry so yeah that's that's all me uh, let's actually grab all of that and uh, place them somewhere here really uh, oops there we go uh, yeah and try to push there to an extent uh, Later we'll just, as soon as we get to Mongolia, we'll redeploy tanks here and uh, try to rush uh, tanks towards uh, Yellow Sea and uh, down the coastline. Uh, that, that should be fairly helpful. And Brits should be able to, to keep, keep pushing on their own uh, pretty well. Or, well, let's try this if we force some of the uh, Japanese troops to... Uh, to leave their positions. Uh, just crush those. Shouldn't take long. Um, so yeah. Mm, that should speed things up just a little bit. Uh, of course we don't want that to be as far. Whatever, just grab some yeah, any territory. Right, we regained some of that. Um, actually, we should probably do that. Uh, destroy those units, and you have decent route to one battle. So let's let's go use it. Mm. Of course, should uh, reinforce a little bit here, at least. So let's throw this single unit. And we'll wait till, the, uh, till we can actually establish a front line here. Uh, here we go. That was a bit of strategic redeployments. We'll speed things up. There you go. Sufficient resources. Of course, we have no rubber, but yeah. Freeze those tanks. Pick, picked up the pace. Uh, how far are we from there? Keep getting. So Mongolia is almost down. Uh, still 3% uh, from the US. We can actually keep going. Is there any... I don't believe there are uh, any other Mongolian provinces that are worth anything. So just need to, to grab a little bit more territory and be good. At the same time, I will go ahead and grab myself Manchuka. And... Um, Find my tanks. So some of them are up north. Well, I believe we should probably just uh, put them here. That also includes those tanks that were here. Though I, they are probably they've just probably moved in here. Let's see. So those two tank divisions that were going that were pushing this direction, I will cut it to one. And just, I guess, keep going here. And... So... All the... All those, except for that one... I'm going to go there. Here we go. But this is probably going to be some terrible, terrible supply, but as soon as we widen this gap, it should... Be okay ish. Okay, we seem to have a, at least a front line. I ordered you to, to, to you know, uh, perform a. Uh, uh, what is it called? <laughs> Please decide. 
I only used uh, that phrase thousand times. Tragic fucking redeployment. Jeez. I'm really getting tired here. Mm -hmm. It was a long day yesterday and still today to some extent, so... Uh, oh, well, we found a... Found a Soviet division. Okay, still, it's 30 minutes, but I'm... I'm not sure if we will pull this through. Let's, let's get Mongolia at least, that will allow us to, to, to focus more on Japan. Since, well, actually, most of our IAF forces are by now focusing on Japan anyway. I might have uh, redeployed too much, especially by taking those uh, green divisions from this uh, southern edge. But I don't think that they will do, the, do their thing soon enough. Let's see. Uh, okay, I want to, to, to remove this nonsense of a line that models the water. Uh, no, okay, so all of this should manage to push. Mm, not sure how they are. It's gonna be from here. Mongolia has got you. Okay. Uh, now, first of all. I probably never should never actually use um, the motorized uh, troops uh, in the front line. Not really. Uh, okay, so this <laughs> those bloody Portu Portuguese, like ugh. now. Um, Hmm, how what do I want to do it? So I definitely want to push with tanks towards this area. That's a given. Uh, as for here, and then I guess I will split my forces in two. Uh, the, the blue ones will focus on the northern part, which includes Manchuria and Soviet Union, and the, the green one will, will go here. So uh, let's, let's do that. We of course have some uh, green units uh, already arrived here, but uh, no, actually we have really. Do we actually have two front lines of green guys here? Of course we do. Okay, so all I want is all green uh, green units here. Uh, which front line is the wrong one? This one is the wrong one. Very good. And now. I want all the blue units well I just want to, those 50 uh, to work on this like all the all the way through here I'd say um, those are 50 divisions right yes they are and they are working this angle. That's that's okay for now. Um, we just need to push towards the uh, the sea to to split those those front lines into, and that then we'll have something that resembles a, a, a proper uh, a proper front lines. A set of proper front lines. Your grammatic and such. Um, Okay, but we also need to get rid of all those pockets. But they disappeared. That's interesting. Uh, okay. Seeing young troops still alive. Uh, it's weird that they are shown as seeing young when they're in the Soviet Union troops. Okay, let's actually allow them to, to, to do the bloody redeployment. Um, and now, where do we have our motorized troops? One is here. Two are here. 
Interesting. I don't remember ordering them to attack there, but okay. Um, Alright, so let's get this one. And uh, you are actually part of a frontline somewhere that I have to forget to cancel. Here you go. And you are. Uh, hmm, they want to cut you off. Probably not really, though. We could go for Irkutsk, so for now you go for Irkutsk. Uh, you are caught here, but since we actually, oh, so we actually have those uh, um, check panzer. So let's let's use this check panzer and try to actually push towards the Beijing area or something. Ah, uh, we are already fighting some mud. Let's use the che check troops to to continue this advance. And since you are not dead yet, you might as well uh, keep going. Just spread a little bit, will you? Here we go. Mm. It'd be nice to actually capture uh, Manchunga. Right, where am I? Okay, so tanks are here, but since we have obvious supply problems, we are definitely going to just ignore those problems and push through it. Because, well, problems are here, it will be better here, I believe. Right, right. Um, okay, that didn't work. Okay, so you guys are set on attacking us here, and here is uh, more than a handful of Japanese troops that want our blood. Um, you, since you're already, how long did we get the? Two days. Uh, it would probably be better if you just came here. I can't believe you are bloody moving by foot. All those mountains. Alright. Perhaps that will still the deal. Uh, getting bits and pieces. Uh, still 97. And of course the mod. I push it focus, that's uh, mm, naval doctrine. Here we go. Exactly, I mean, hmm. Manchungo is calculated very good. Um, okay, another thing that we need to remove is this nonsense. Um, you guys should definitely attack that. Alright, uh... Well, this is almost being, uh, going well, and so let's see. Uh, so, yeah, Brits are uh, definitely pushing. That and that wasn't in the uh, sphere of interest, so it wasn't originally there as well. Oh, actually it was, never mind. I kind of thought it was small, uh, never mind. So, yeah, uh, well, almost pushing. <laughs> they just... It, they only got the things that show up as, uh, as British territory. Uh, never mind, but well, I guess there is some fighting there, so at least they are uh, keeping uh, parts of Japanese forces. Oh, fuck me sideways. Um, now, 
<laughs> well, apparently there's no... Okay, so... Why those Polish troops are here is beyond me. Now, no, all... The, like, I guess I should just have given some ter of my territory to them so that they would continue because it seems like the only the thing that actually keeps them interested is if they're... Yeah, that would make sense why they're... Mm, uh, why only Romanians and Poles were, were actually attacking and not those guys. Uh, so now, uh, we need to turn around and send some troops to defend our border. How many divisions do you guys have? A lot. And are you guys considered... Well, it doesn't matter if you are considered... Uh, you are not called to war just yet, but that will clearly happen in a, in a, in a second. So, uh, for starters, uh, let's deploy all of you here. Here we go. <sighs> and I guess parts of you as well. Here we go. Hmm, what else, what else, what else? Well, hopefully mm, my allies will help. Probably not, but one. Well, Gal can hope. Here we go. And we also have three military factories, probably for a while. Uh, well, only two, so it doesn't really matter. It's probably because they are uh, broken, I'd imagine. Uh, how are the things? Uh, well, we have way too much equipment, and it doesn't even make uh, make much sense to uh, throw them to to our allies because they aren't fighting for us. Uh, well, it's all of that. I would definitely do. I uh, mean, manage that. I mean, max that uh, if there was a need. But well, there really isn't. Even with you know uh, Spain attacking here, we should be okay. Um, I guess some. Uh, let's add a bit more, to be honest. Uh, should go there. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I'm a bit worried actually that it, <laughs> it will end badly. Uh, okay, so. But I think we'll keep the suspense up and finish this in our next episode. And then we'll also hopefully finally, since like I have everything but a bloody bloody boss dog, uh, <laughs> we will get to uh, have a peace conference uh, again, uh, against Soviet Union. So thanks for watching guys. Um, I don't know, this, <laughs> it, it, it became a pretty silly series, but yeah, well, overall I think it was a, a fairly enjoyable one. Uh, we, we should wrap this up within two or three episodes, I think. We will deal with uh, nationalist Spain and we will kick Japan out of uh, China, I'd say, and that's about it. Uh, so. Uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope to see you next time.